are a little safer with this man finally caught his arrest only happening after a long chase a nasty crash and so many people he apparently could not care less about directly in his path cbs 4's david sutta is live in northwest miami dade where all of this ended david yeah, police are telling us that 33 year old Albert Fernandez apparently stole not one but two cars. He was apparently trading in one stolen car for a nice big black pickup truck he could cruise around town. Well, the owner gave chase, police gave chase, and it ended here in this big mess right behind me. Thankfully, no one was hurt except for the guy who stole the truck. It's an extremely dangerous. Just before 4 o'clock, police began chasing this black Dodge pickup truck. The driver weaving in and out of traffic, blowing through stop signs, it all coming to a crashing halt in the warehouse district right off of 74th Street and 35th Avenue. It just crashed into the railroad tracks there. The driver bailing from the truck, running into a pallet business, attempting to hide. I got nervous because one of my employees is ready to leave, and we're thinking somebody crashed into our warehouse. Police raided the warehouse and had Albert Fernandez in custody within seconds. Fernandez had choice words for police and our camera. Fire rescue ending up taking him to the hospital because he hit his head upon running over the railroad crossing. According to Opalaka's police chief, Fernandez pulled up to a body shop in a stolen vehicle and approached this man, the owner of the stolen truck. He asked the victim for a bottle of water or something, and the victim was even nice enough, provided him with the bottle of water, walked into the body shop, and when he turned around, his truck was leaving the scene. The owner of the truck jumped in a friend's car and chased his truck across town. The truck hitting an Opalaka police cruiser, police backing down and following the vehicle from the sky. Fernandez eventually made a mistake, crashing the souped up truck right through the railroad crossing, a forklift operator just feet away, throwing it in reverse. Once in handcuffs, police realized they had finally caught someone they'd been looking for for a while. Very dangerous individual. Uh, just based on some of the verbiage he's saying, we believe that he's also an active gang member. We're being told that Fernandez was wanted for a string of burglaries in Miami Lakes. FHP also had a warrant out for his arrest related to something traffic related. And all of this, he's facing a number of charges, including the theft of two vehicles, the carjacking, and he also had a weapon on him, apparently, something you can't have when you're a convicted felon. We're live in Northwest Miami Day. David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight.